guys, Dr. Christy Ennis. Welcome to Follow Me Friday. Today we are going to help you break out of this and get you more here. So, hmm, yay! Breaking up that posture, which also really helps to get that shoulder or shoulders to feel better. All of these are standing. You will need no equipment except your desk chair. So you can do these at home, you can do them at work. If you really wanna do them at the gym, you can do them there too. We're gonna to use the chair for the last few exercises that we go through. But to start, just standing, just your bods. So, and you can do these sitting too, actually, at least some of them. So here we go. We're gonna start with some shoulder rolls backwards. We're gonna do 10 of these, and as I do them, I'm gonna turn my palms open now to really open up. So there's three, four, might hear some snapping, cracking, popping, six, seven, gentle squeeze in the shoulder blades, two, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, arms are gonna come up like goal post. You're gonna squeeze into those shoulder blades and then give a little bit of an arch through that spine and then kind of round everything forward to stretch out that mid and upper back. So squeeze and forward. So expand and contract. There's three. We're just gonna do five of these. Four, so a little cat cow with an angel. Just picture your moo cow with wings. <laughs> Last one. Okay, for this next one, we're gonna pull that arm back. Again, kind of squeeze into that shoulder blade. Open that arm and let that head follow. You can even twist that torso a little bit. So the middle part of the spine and the upper part of the spine need to move nicely as well in order for the shoulder to move. So we're kind of working on all of that. So there's three, two more on this side. Getting the neck in there too, right? Four, one more on this side. That's five, face the other way. So pull, rotate, open, and back one. That's two, three, four. Really focus on your breathing too with this. And Five because that helps our posture. Okay, the next one, we're actually gonna reach overhead. You're gonna grab that rib cage and kind of hold it down a little bit. So right arm here, and then reach it over. So I'm really stretching out this whole side. I'm gonna do five of these. That's two. So each time I'm pulling down on those ribs a little bit. Three, four, you may get a little bit more motion as you go and five and switch directions. So same idea, kind of pull that rib cage down a little bit, anchor it as you come up with that arm. There's one, two, three more snapping, popping, <laughs> four, and one more is five. Ah, yay, good. Okay, for the next one, you're gonna place those hands behind the head and you're gonna come and Open those elbows up and then add a little bit of a rotation and come back to the middle. Rotation and come back to the middle. Extend that R. <laughs> Three. We're going to do four like this. And now I'm going to add a side bend instead. Ah, oh, just open it up something a little bit different. So there's one, four total of these two. Two. Three. And four, awesome, now we're gonna grab our chair. We're gonna start seated in our lovely chairs. And you can do this one throughout the day, I love this one. So arms are either gonna cross in front of the chest or if you have the mobility, you should be a little looser after doing those. You're gonna bring those hands behind the head, lean back against that chair, and then open everything up. You can let the head come back if it feels comfortable. We're gonna do five of these. If you don't have a chair with a back that goes up only halfway, you can place a ball right in there and that will make it so that you can extend over that as well. So there's three, two more, four. You may even have a little bit more motion as you go. And ah, five. All right, we've got two more using the chair in front of us standing. 
you're just gonna take and grab onto that chair and you can either walk your feet back or just kind of squat into it a little bit, but really trying to almost press into that chair and then scoot yourself down. So I'm pressing down to really stretch out my shoulder and the side there as well. And so this one, now we've done some mobility. We're just holding this because we've got some blood flow going now. Just for three breaths. And that's my third breath right there. It's hard to tell sometimes when I'm talking. And then from here, we're gonna take one hand, place it on top of the other, and then I'm gonna scoot my hips out a little bit. And I know this is confusing a little. Also add a little bit of a rotation. You can play around with this to see what feels best. But now we're really angling towards one side versus straight through the middle. And then same idea. I'm gonna use my other hand on top. Stick those hips out a little, add a little turn, and again, still that kind of press down. Yay, good. And there you have it, a quick way to loosen up and fix your posture. Thank you so much for tuning in today, you guys. If you want to get rid of pain anywhere in your body, on your own, with just one little portable device, don't forget to check out the Derma Edge. I created this while I was going through Lyme disease to help get rid of my pain on my own, nice and gently. It's patented and made in the US, actually right down the road in Laconia from where my office is. So don't forget, you can click the link here or in the description to order your own.